What's up, YouTube? My name is Lazy Tryhard, and today we are continuing our LibGDX tutorial series. And today, what I thought we'd do is we'd learn about audio, because one of you guys asked about how lazy, how do we implement audio into our game? How would we do uh, such a hard, rigorous task? Well, today I bring you guys the answer. So we're just going to get right into it and just let's do it. So you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make or go up into your uh, universal variables and type in sound sound note the capitalization uh, this is an object uh, in libgdx that makes it so easy uh, for us to initialize sound actually we're going to do both um, I don't, I'm not going to really work with music but we're going to do music as well because music is another object that we can use for audio um, I'm just going to show you guys kind of how to do it because they're both really um, similar so we're going to do sound we're going to have to initialize it obviously we're going to do it a little differently though we're going to do sound equals gdx audio dot new sound and it's going to take a file handle and we're going to make that file handle um, gdx dot internal or dot files an internal uh, and it's going to be sound dot mp3 you see I have the mp3 right here and we're actually going to copy this code copy paste paste and we're going to change just two things to make it to do the same thing to music uh, and I'll explain the difference in a sec but basically sound um, is a really easy uh, really low intensity uh, audio clip that'll just like punch it out and you're done it has a lot less functions than the music uh, object but at the same time is better because uh, at, at least in our case because it's so much it requires so much less memory and so much less um, of our processor to run so it takes an mp3 obviously well I have sound out mp3 right here um, and I made that just going into audacity and recording my beautiful voice and just saying ow wow that was weird um, so just go into any program get any sort of mp3 it should work um, but I'm not going to deal with that. Just get any sort of MP3. I know you have iTunes, you have Spotify, you have what, whatever. Um, and just get any sort of MP3 and it should work. Um, oops, delete our bracket there. Uh, we're just going to go up into this player.getbounds because this is where we did the, oh, player hit. Well, now we can <laughs> initialize or do um, make some sound when, this ha when we actually um, <laughs> move. So <laughs> we're going to do sound.play. And that's it for uh, this so far. Um, oh gosh, this is going to sound awful. Um, but it's going to loop because we're doing it so many times. Um, like, uh, ow. You heard that, like, kind of screech or whatever? Well, if we don't want to deal with that and we just want to hear the audio clip once to make sure that it works, we're just going to do it in the uh, show method that's called once. And it should, like, just first thing we hear is... Wait. Perfect, wonderful. You hear my angelic voice, and that's all we need to hear. So you can do this with anything. You can make like lasers. You can do whatever the heck you want. The music's a little different because it has um, a lot more parameters. You have like this um, music dot is looping, which is like um, if you want the music to loop, obviously um, is playing. So if you want to play it just once. You can play it once and that works perfectly. Um, but there's also like a bunch of different ones that uh, like s set volume. You can, I mean, you can do that with sound too. Uh, point being, if you just for your guys' sake, just deal with sound. Sounds easier, um, and you're not gonna like put too much pressure on your CPU. Which again, for this program, we're not gonna have to worry about that because we wrote it so efficiently and so so perfectly that oh gosh, it's gonna get annoying. Um, but we're just not going to worry about that for right now. We're just going to we're going to comment that out. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it helps. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, with just a little side note, with the other tutorial series I'm going to do uh, with the top down and the platformer, I'm honestly probably just going to stick with one of them. I'm still trying to decide which one because y'all are giving me your surveys and like I'm still getting like half and half. Um, so I'm going to have to make the decision probably in the next couple of days. And then I'm probably going to live stream in the next couple of days. So be on the lookout for that. Hopefully I'll like post it on YouTube or something uh, and we'll figure it out from there. So keep that in mind as you're watching these videos and learning and making all these super fantastic games. Obviously, due to my help. I'm just kidding. I 
you guys are freaking geniuses in telling me like all these things I'm doing wrong on these tutorials. Well, okay, that's a lie. Just a couple of you guys. And again, I like critiques because it makes me feel, you know, human. Um, and I'm a teacher and I'm still a person, so enough ranting on that. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.